If there's one friendly face you can count on in Little Lake City, it's Ernie's. Ernie is a smaller, orange version of Corey's car. Sidelick Town is borrowing him for a while, and he's excited about making friends there. Timmy walked past Ernie on his way to pick up the train. Ernie called out. Hello, Chief, chirped Ernie. My name's Timmy, responded Timmy. Nice to meet you, laughed Ernie. I'm Ernie. Can I help you with something? Timmy felt like laughing. You're kind of small for my kind of needed jobs, teased Timmy. I'm driving a train full of side licks soon. Perhaps you can ride behind and carry any little licks that want rides. Well, I can drive you to your train, offered Ernie. Timmy just walked away chortling. Indeed, 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 ha <laughs> ha. This put Ernie in a terribly sad mood. But then Billy arrived. Don't mind him, advised Billy. He's just a little vain these days. He's a nice guy, really. I have an idea, he added. There's some help needed at the factory. Are you up to something heavy? You bet, Chief, smiled Ernie. The loads that Ernie took were heavy. Some boxes contained large machinery, but he handled it all very well. I really wish Timmy could see me now, wished Ernie. Back in town, Timmy was inviting the passengers on. Jeff and Billy had a word with him. Don't you think you're a little rude to Ernie, accused Billy. I guess, murmured Timmy. You know that his city is full of mean monkey licks, reminded Jeff. All he wanted was to see more friendly faces in his life. Well, I need to get going, interrupted Timmy. And even if I did have time, I didn't know how I'd find him and apologize. Jeff and Billy reluctantly hopped into the carriage and they set off. But as Timmy passed the trees, he thought about the sad little car. But Ernie was still having fun by himself. As Timmy passed the factory, something happened. The train stopped. It had rained there the night before, so Timmy knew that the train was stuck in a mud puddle. Father, he said, will be stuck here all day. I'll go look for help in the factory, offered Jeff. The first face he saw when he entered was Ernie's. Can you please help us, Ernie, begged Jeff. The train is stuck in the mud. I can handle that, Chief, chuckled Ernie. Aren't you going to get some carts or the little train, suggested Jeff. Don't you start, too. Ernie headed outside. He didn't even notice Timmy sitting in the cab. He went in front of the train and pushed with all his might. Jeff and Billy cheered him on. Timmy leaned outside and saw who was doing this. I don't believe it, he gasped. Within a few moments, the train was out of the mud. Way to go, Ernie, congratulated Timmy. Ernie paused and turned away. Look, I'm sorry for earlier, okay? Apologize to me. I accept your apology, began Ernie, but that doesn't make us friends. I guess big things come in small packages? I heard about your twin at the factory, said Ernie. To think that, even though you know what it's like to be teased, you still do it. Well, just do me a favor and please don't judge the next little car you meet, Ernie finished. Ernie trundled with dignity back into the factory. And what he said to Timmy that day lasted his entire life. Even though Timmy never did meet another car like Ernie, he knew he would never underestimate one if he did.